Hey guys, what's up? It's your boy Jess Mellon. We're back in the kitchen. Today we're doing pepper steak the mellow way. Stay tuned. Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're gonna to do some pepper steak and pan, and we're gonna open up our package now. We're gonna go ahead and make sure we uh we clean out our meat, a little lemon oil. And before I forget. Let's go ahead and wash our hands. And there we are, voila. So now that we have our pepper steak in our bowl, we're gonna go ahead and season our bowl of pepper steak. Now that we added our seasoning, our pink salt, don't forget some black pepper. I like black pepper. We're gonna go ahead and add a little bit of ginger. Minced garlic. We're gonna add a little cornstarch. And down below you'll have a description of ingredients of how much I put in. We're gonna add soy sauce. We're also gonna add some olive oil. Put that in the sink. Honey. I like to add a little bit of extra honey. This honey is actually really good for you. One spoon a day will make everything go away. So I think that's what they say. Almost sounded like a wrapper. This can be very sticky. And once you have all that stuff in there, I am not going to use my hands because it gets very sticky. But you can also use latex gloves. I can actually get my hand inside of it. This is, I think, a bad idea. There you go. Just go ahead and mix all that around. It smells really, really good. And now, once you've mixed it around for a bit, you're gonna go ahead and you're gonna turn on your pan, which I have here. I'm gonna use some olive oil and we're gonna start frying the meat. There we go, we're gonna put some olive oil. Here we are, we're gonna go ahead and put our meat
because I had to let it cook. Should look a little like that on one side. And make sure the whole thing gets cooked nice. You can do it medium well, well done, to your preference. And then once we're done cooking that, we're gonna pull that right out of the pan. And we're gonna go ahead and throw our uh, green and red peppers and our onions and all that other yummy good stuff. Here we have our bell pepper, red and green pepper with onions. And also I like to add mushrooms, so if you guys like mushrooms, you can add that in. If not, you don't have to. Now when your meat is done, we're actually gonna go ahead and we're gonna take this out for a minute. Put it into a bowl. Okay, we're going to let the pan keep on simmering and we're going to head, go ahead take our uh, onions, mushrooms and pepper and we're going to go ahead and put that into our pan. That full break down, just move that all around. Make sure that it's broken up, your onions. Now you can let them cook for a good several minutes. If you like it soggy, if you like it crunchy, I'm gonna go ahead and let it cook for about five to 10 minutes, probably about five, between five to 10 minutes. Go ahead and take your meat. And throw that right back in there. See what that looks like there. And now you want to go ahead and you want to take your sauce. And the meat that you were cooking before. Give it some time. Let it all simmer in there. That sauce is gonna turn a little thick. Mm -hmm. We're pretty much just about done. As you can see, it's come to a boil. I'm going to go ahead and turn it off now, and I will serve. Here you go, guys. This is what the production looks like. Pepper steak with white rice. Hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you guys subscribe. Hope you guys like. Make sure you guys are all, and most importantly, staying safe. Wear those masks, and I'll see you on the next one. Mellow. Out.